Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you some items that I just picked up from my CVS about an hour ago and they are more new releases um, in the drugstore which is always very exciting. Uh, the first one that I want to share with you and I'm so excited about because you know obviously everyone has been loving it on YouTube and I wanted to get it also and I got uh, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion in the shade W3 which is nude beige. Um, this was the second darkest color in the collection of warm colors and um, the packaging is beautiful. It's a rose gold um, reflective like kind of mirror trim with a white base and it's got a really decent sized mirror. I don't want to get the camera in there but it has the whole inside is a mirror and then it has the cushion which will comfortably fit two fingers. It will not fit three, I mean unless you've got super petite hands, but it fits two fingers in it nice and comfy and um, yeah it feels nice so that's good. Now I've just taken the seal off before I started the video because I wanted to see what the color was. I'm hoping that this color works for me. Uh, it's hard to tell, you know obviously with drugstore you can't swatch it in the store so I tried to uh, get something that would match me kind of in between self tan and not self tan. Um, and here's what the actual cushion looks like inside. You can see it has all the product in there. And what I'm going to do, even though it's not, you know, the most sanitary thing, I'm just going to swatch it with my finger so you can see. Oh, it's a very, it's very spongy. And actually the foundation that came out is very opaque. It's not sheer looking. Um, so here's what it looks like on my finger. And let's swatch it on the back of my hand so you can see. So it might be a little warm, but we're going to see how I'm going to actually do a tutorial with it. So let's, you know, see how that goes. I'll do it, you know, so you can see what it looks like. But it's, um, it's a nice formula. It doesn't seem to have a scent to it. And it blends out really nice. So that's, I'm excited to try that. That's going to be awesome. Then um, I also got... Let me just put the sponge back. I also got the Physicians one. The reason why I was very excited about the Physicians one is that it's SPF 50. Now, I love my It Cosmetics um, CC cream because it's SPF 50. I just feel like it's like, you know, great for your skin, you know, protecting it from the sun. So I was very excited to see that. And then the packaging. Oh my gosh, look at how adorable this packaging is. I mean, it's not a thin case, it's a meaty looking, you know, case, but it's just so pretty, the blue with that, like, little, like, you know, um, cushion top, you know, cushion, <laughs> Okay, so here's what it looks like on the inside. The inside has the cushion kind of just resting on top, and the same thing, I believe, with this one. You can fit two fingers comfortably. I don't think you can fit three, no. So it's, you know, perfect with two fingers. You can, like, roll it and pat it onto the skin. And um, the mirror in this one's a little bit smaller. Here is the mirror here, okay? And when we open it up, this, ooh, this one's sealed really tight. I guess that's good. Okay, so when we open it up, let's see what the foundation looks like. I got this in the shade Medium, I believe it is. Yes, Medium. Um, I saw reviews that the light looked way too light for me, so I figured, let me try the Medium. And, you know, it feels exactly the same. The sponge, you know, is really squishy. This one, however, does look darker than the other one. So here's what the medium looks like. Right there. I don't know if you can... Oh, there we go. Medium is a little dark, but I'm going to play with it and see. Usually I can fix that when they're a little too dark, you know, with my concealer in the right spot. So this one seems to have a little bit better coverage than the L'Oreal one. But what I'll do is I will do... Um, to get ready with me and let you see, you know see how the wear goes through the day so you can have an idea of what it's going to look like and how it's going to wear. So definitely excited to try those out. Then I also got um, another physician's product. It's the Butter Bronzer. Here's what the packaging looks like. So pretty. I love the green. It reminds me of the, um, the MAC collection from uh, I think it was last summer with that pretty kind of chromed green, you know, colors, tropical colors, so it's super pretty. Um, there is no mirror on the, in this one. Oh, yes, there is. There is a mirror. It's underneath with the brush. So you got the brush on one side, which I probably won't use, and then the mirror on the other. And let's see what this looks like swatched. Oh, it feels very creamy. It feels really nice. It has the pretty little ripples in it, you can see. 
And the color of it, it just says um, bronzer. That's it. There's no specific color. And I'm going to swatch this on the inside of my arm so you can see it better. So it's a very um, orangey tone bronzer and it has a slight satin finish but mostly matte. It's sheer. It's not a very dark bronzer. So I'm excited to try that also. Well, maybe I'll just use that one of the days that I do the um, cushions. Then I also got, um, I already finished, and I was very excited to finish this because it actually worked really, really well, the uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Setting Spray. I hauled this a couple of weeks ago. Wait, let's see. There we go. Um, I hauled this a couple of weeks ago, and... I finished it. I just finished it up this morning, so I was very surprised that I actually liked it so much that I already finished it, so I had to get another one. And then I also, in my CVS, they had more of the new formula of the Wet n Wild blushes, um, the Color Icon blushes. So the first one that I had gotten is Rose Champagne, which I love. So I thought, you know, for like $2.50 or whatever, 3 bucks, let me get another one. So I got this one here, and this one's called uh, Pearlescent Pink. Um, and it's gorgeous. So I'm going to swatch this one really quick for you on the back of my arm. And then shear it out a little bit. So that's what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then the other one that I got in last time, I'm just going to put them side by side for comparison, is Rose Champagne, the one from my last haul with Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to swatch that underneath just so you can see the two colors next to each other to have an idea of what they look like if you're going into the store and you're not sure which one to get. All right, so Rose Champagne is on the bottom and you can see it's a much sheer, almost peachy pink where the one on top is more um, more vibrant pink. So just so you can see the comparison. I love them both though. They're both really pretty and they both, you know, the first one that I got, the uh, Rose Champagne wears really, really nicely. It's, you know, it's a nice neutral peachy pink where um, this new one, your uh, pearlescent pink is much more vibrant. So we will see. I will use all of these one day and um, give you a quick little review of them on how they wear. So anyway, that's my little CVS haul. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. <music>